Hey everyone, this is Shar with Shar's Art from the Heart. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This is going to be a cute project using just a 4x4 piece of square wood, some scrap paper, paper scrapbook paper, and uh, Mod Podge paint, and a Would You Bend trim. So you can see here I have cut the scrapbook paper to size and I am Mod Podging my wood piece. I'm putting quite a bit of Mod Podge on there because the scrap paper is quite thick. I'm going to uh, make sure that it's down and has no wrinkles. I'm going to dry it and add more Mod Podge on top because I do need this sealed. And as you can see, I made it a little bit wider than the piece of wood. So I will be taking the um, sanding block and sand off the edges. Now the exciting part. I have my would you bend trim. And I am going to cut this to the same length or width of the wood. We're going to frame this out and in order to make the trim straight you have to add heat to it. I'm just measuring to make sure that all my pieces are going to go the way I want them to and some of them are a little bit longer but that's okay because I decided to cut them in 45 degree angles on the ends and so here I now have my cute little frame it's already glued down I've painted it blue I don't know where the video went showing this process but now that we have it I'm going to go ahead and add my little tree limbs on to this cute little Christmas decor item you can probably use this as a tiered tray sitter or even an ornament for the tree. I go in with my green paint. We're going to make some uh, pine needles. This is not difficult. You can make as many or as few as you'd like. And as you can see, I start off with my uh, forest green color. And what that's going to do is add depth to those needles. Oh, we need pine cones. Let's put a few little pine cones in there. We'll dry that so we can put the top layer to our pine cones. Here we go. Mixing up a tone that will help my pine cones stand out. There we go. Add a little bit of uh, dimension to the limbs of the trees. And then I go back and paint in my cardinals. Now I'm, I'm doing them in white so that the under layer will not show through. I have two little cardinals sitting on this tree limb. Gonna dry that really well so that I can start painting my cardinals red. And I have two tones of red here and then end up making a third tone, a little bit lighter tone. I don't want pink, but I do want a lighter red tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the lighter red and then kinda come in and blend with my Tuscan red and then go with my light
and I do this without any rhyme or reason. It's whatever is in my head at the moment. So far, so good. They're looking like, or this one's looking like a cardinal. I like that one. Start back on this one on top. I'm gonna go in with the lighter red. Add some darker red around the wing area. Darken that up a little bit for some depth and then come back with the lighter tones so that you can see the wing area just a little bit better. And I think this is my favorite part, the black around the beak and where the eye sits. To me, that's just what makes the cardinal. Put a little beak on both of them, lighten it up. Let's give it a little bit of interest. I was not pleased with my pine cones, so I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more and give them a little more depth by adding some black as an undertone. Dry that again, and then we'll go back and put our little um, pine needles on there. And on this blue frame, I'm putting this silver rub and buff. I like it because it really makes the background stand out. I'm going to cover all this area after it dries with a DuraClear high gloss. And there it is. I'm going to dry it and sign it. Every time you do a piece of art, you must sign it and date it. I'm going to put a little hanger on the back with a piece of jute. Just staple it on. And this is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint and create this ornament. Uh, if you would like to follow me at Char's Art from the Heart, I would welcome you and would love to see you on my lives there with me. Thank you for watching.